In this video, let us see how to manage variant systems for large scale designs in Simulink. For this demonstration, I will use a wind turbine model. Let me first give a brief overview of this model. Wind turbine model simulates the dynamics of a wind turbine for maximum throughput provided with a wind input. Pitch controller, your controller, along with pitch and your actuation systems, control the angle, speed, and direction of the wind turbine blades. This model is componentized using subsystems, libraries, and model references as appropriate. Creating multiple variants for all or some of these components is essential to satisfy diverse market needs, customer preferences, and geographical features. Variant systems, which include variant subsystems and model variants, help implement design alternatives in Simulink. For example, adding variants for pitch control system and yaw control system allows for testing model fidelity for real-world conditions. For this demonstration, I have set up configurations to test the yaw actuation system, keeping other variants constant. Variant Manager can be used to manage these variants starting from R2013B. The user interface can be launched from Simulink Editor. It is pre-populated with all the variant systems of the model in the model hierarchy pane under the name column. The rest of the column sub-model configuration, variant control and condition should be used to define variant controls for each system. A variant control can be a variant object with an associated condition or a condition itself. For this model, I have defined variant objects for most of the variant subsystems. Having variant objects over just conditions gives me the flexibility to reuse them. Editing the condition in one place would automatically propagate the changes to all the variant systems that uses this variant object. As you can see, the variant object definitions along with the control variables used to define conditions are created in the base workspace. Having defined the variant controls, I can then move to the variant configuration data pane and start setting up configurations. You can set up as many configurations as desired based on different combinations of variant systems. I have set up four such combinations to test different your actuation systems. The description tab can be used to provide a description for each of the configurations. Each configuration has a specific set of control variables that needs to be defined as name value pairs. Care should be taken to have the same names that were used to define the conditions. A much easier way to avoid name clashes is to use the import from base workspace option. This imports all the possible control variables looking at the variant objects and conditions that get created in the base workspace. Once the variables are imported, you can use the ones needed for that configuration and set values as needed. Also, some combinations can be restricted by using the constraints tab in this pane. Constraints also apply to all the configurations. For this model, I added a constraint that the blade load can never be of type segments when the wind input is direct input. Each of the configurations should then be validated using the validate button. If Simulink finds errors during validation, it displays errors in the validation results pane. Once validation is complete, active variants can be set using set active by default variant button for simulation. Once everything is set up as satisfied, the variant configuration object needs to be saved to a mat file that can be loaded with the model every time a model is accessed. So let's simulate this model with this configuration. Now by going back to the variant manager, I can quickly change to another configuration by changing the active variant. Rerun the model and compare the yaw rate with this configuration using Simulink Data Inspector. Here I can compare the same signal across two runs and look at the difference. This shows that the ideal actuator and ideal motor yaw systems Responses are pretty close to each other for these two configurations. In this demonstration, we have seen how to manage and configure active variants in Simulink. 